so hi and welcome to our next video with an our tutorials for modeling with rpm5 the content of this video will be creating and calculating truss structures in rpm we have basically two options for that we can create trusses manually with individual single members or we can simply generate a truss automatically using the model generator which is a very time saving option in this tutorial, we will do both as an example. So we will begin with modeling the first truss with individual members graphically. The first step will be defining a new cross section in the material. Let's say we choose this time an IP80 and as material steel S235. Then as usual, we will set a new member and start modeling our truss graphically. So before we do that, I'd like to have a look at the member type to explain how a truss member is defined in our programs, RFM and RSTAP. In one of our previous tutorials, I've shortly explained it. So until now, we mostly use the beam as member type, which transfers all internal forces. It's a fully fixed member without any member hinges, and this is still what we need for the upper and lower cords of our truss. Then we have several other options for member types and we can find a truss here. And a truss is defined as a B member but with automatically applied moment and releases. So a truss is a beam with member hinges on its member ends. And this is great for all of the internal members within our truss like the diagonals because we don't have to define member hinges manually on each member ends anymore. But first, we will begin with the upper and lower cords with the standard B member. So our truss will have a total length of 6 meters and a height of 1 meter. And now for all the remaining members, including the diagonals, we will select new single member up here again. And then we change the member type to a truss member. We will insert in total six diagonals beginning in the middle with a distance of one meter in between. First this side and then the other side. Once done, next we need our two supports. We will have a hinge one at the start point and the one at the end will be able to slide along the X direction. Now, as we can see, our truss structure is finished and we can start with our second example, which will be generating a truss automatically using the model generator. First, we will create a new node and this node will be the starting node of the truss later. Then in order to generate any structure, we can go up here to tools and then we can find generate model members. We can see that some of them are grayed out. This is because we are still in a 2D environment. That doesn't matter for our example because we will choose the option 2D truss here. Next, this dialog appears and what we can do in this dialog is we can select here different truss types. We can set different directions for the diagonals. And then we can define the geometry and cross sections, member types, materials, and so on. So for our truss, we will choose the first truss type as an example. For the diagonals, we will choose um, this one according to our first example. And then down here, we can see the final truss structure. On the parameter, we can set the geometry of the truss for the number of base. We can type in six. The total length will be, let's say again, six meters. And the total height will be two meters. The side height will be um, one meter. Then we can determine the cross section and member type. Um, and we can see here the program automatically suggests us the member type, that's very helpful. For the upper and lower cords, a P member is defined and for the diagonals and verticals, truss members are set on default. Since we only have one cross section type, the defined uh, cross section is also set here automatically. And of course, we could simply change this by opening up the library or creating a new one. But for this example, we will stay with this cross section that we also have for our first truss. Then we will choose the node um, where the first uh, point of the truss will start. 
And now we can see the generated trust structure also in the graphical area. Next, we will apply a point load of 100 kN in the middle of both uh, truss structures by clicking Calculate All. Um, our results will be displayed as we can see now. And with that said, thank you for watching again. The next video will be about modeling arc structures.